Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Could survivors be hiding inside? It's possible. There's All right, so we're going to leave the jukebox thing behind for now. I might have to look into what I actually need there. There's probably the um the tape recorders that I need to look into. Uh let's let's go uh Go find Mr. Tomasi. The last. Oh, I need to check that outfit. You don't want to hear how we're just sheep. Nah, sucks. By our own I changed it back. She broke her knees. Yeah, it'll happen. All right, he's in containment. Yes, sealed threshold might be. No, transit corridor. Yeah. The map can be a little odd to read. Oh, thought we had a loading screen freeze. Ah, so Zephy, I'm almost out of storm blood. I think I've got like two patches to go. And then I'll be in Shadowbringers. All right, so yeah, it's wait. Uh, I'm 14. Yeah. Man. There we go. All right, Tomasi. Gotcha. I didn't know how far into it you got. Ow. Rude. That was a whiff. There come the floaters. Yep, there's the invisible bastards. Oop. 
That was a bad idea. Oh, that was a case file. That was not the time to pick that up. Fox. Nope, not on the last hit. There. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. That's <sighs> the uh, radio. useful up here. Oh, a whole lot of shit. You're listening to America Overnight. Now in our 20 Yeah, this is definitely a, one of the rougher fights. You just gotta make sure to take out the ads before you focus them. Otherwise, you'll definitely get overwhelmed by all the ones that spawn. Of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside town. Some government people reportedly took it away. Now, we happen to broadcast from Colorado, and Stolen isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. I don't need to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object, or UFO, entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. Head on over to our website to see pictures of the spacecraft pieces we uncovered. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight will be right back. Well, that is the incident we just picked up a report on as well. Paranatural object appeared in a field outside the town of Sterling, Colorado, near a billboard advertising redacted. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported as missing since the event. Local authorities arrived on the scene and began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau, including redacted. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. 
Bureau staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After redacted days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via the subway transit system leading into the oldest house. Local witnesses report a bright flash in the field at approximately redacted. No noise accompanied the light. Authorities assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical redacted, which possibly explains the light show seen from the town. The object is a hollow sphere made of stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not redact it on record. The sphere is a broken portion, as if something redacted from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau. Communications Department officially stated to the press the object was a small meteor while also using the America Overnight program to redact it. This AWB will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe to be transferred to investigations. Where is the broken portion then? Hmm. Nothing up here. All right, we're out. Back to the boardroom. Nope, we don't care about glow cloud. We are leaving. Travel. Central Executive. Figured I might as well, you know, clean up all the loose ends before I start embarking on uh, DLC missions. But I probably am going to look up that jukebox thing. between streams to figure out what I need to do. I anticipate at least a couple of streams worth of content for the DLC. Boardroom! I took care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a coworker. Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. He died when the hiss got him. You're so right. far as we know. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. I don't think Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. There's no room for sentimentality in big business. He's right, you know. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Oh, yes, you're you're no me. fun anymore. Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Another 30% added to melee. The last two are four each. Then I'll start working down the C's tree again. And then eventually I'll finish shields and levitate. All right, so it looks like we're ready to start these. I think the foundation is expansion one. So it's time to go to the hotline chamber. Hope is now head of research. It's official. Oh, wait, I can get to it through my office. Oh, radio. I thought it was a file. 
Damn right. Oh. Hmm. Sticky note complaint. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. Hope it may concern. In case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozier, Vice Chief of Staff. You know, I can respect that. I... that... yeah. That... hmm. A little distracting. Another undefined reading. They're probably Typhon mimics. This, if I'm not mistaken, leads to the hotline chamber. That sure sounds like the hotline to me. Inside Cerebro. Get out of my head, Charles. Uh oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. The problem in the foundation. That was Artie's vacation spot. We need to check this out. Hmm. Did RT fuck up? I finally made a point of, uh, I'm still working through it, but I finally made a point of watching the FF7 machine abridged. And don't. Fuck. Oh. Somehow I just never actually watched it until now. I'm take over your brain. Fortunate for you. Oh, we got an invisible bastard. Where'd you go? Rocket. That was close. It was very close. I got those too. Seeing shit that will make your head explode. There we go. There's my control point. I 
foundation. Dimensional. This place really suits Ati. Oh well, that's that's convenient. So All right. That etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. That seems like it can't backfire in any way, shape, or form. Let's do it. Open the door and come in, Ari. The Mines of Moria? Shit! They have a cave troll. Oh. I see why you said no that. Time for sightseeing. The board said this was an emergency. All right, power on. Looks like no one's been down here in a while. And rips stalactites off the ceiling. Stalactites or stalagmites? I can never remember which is which, and I studied geology. That can't be good. Shit's growing out of the walls. The crystals are kind of pretty. Yeah, I would be having a field day down here. I see a box. Rude. That was my box. Only tight if it's on. Okay. I was never actually taught that as a mnemonic. Research site Delta. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless she's dead. That doesn't. Jesus. That doesn't she's bode well at all. Who could survive anything? All right. Well, let's see what Marshall's got to say. when I became head of operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. Oh, well, we figured and out where she went. <laughs> but nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. Are you though? I mean, I, I thought, you, you know, sure. It's not like you could have told the new director about it or anything. You know, if it's need to know I'm the director, I might need to know. I dislike the looks of that. Oh, it's just those guys. I thought they were new enemies. 
Hmm. Three different paths. Do I have a map? I do have a... Holy shit, that's a map, all right. Uh, well, let's check the dead ends first, I guess. Yep, that's dead end. There's stuff over there. I mashed A again. Well, no, I guess, hmm. Can't get up there yet because it's actually higher than my glide range. Call it glide like I'm playing a fucking warlock. Levitate. I mean, the DLC seems like an opportune time to add more enemies. Yeah, Foundation is the uh, first DLC. This is Expansion 1. The exit. I like the design of this place, actually. Those Fucking paintings look blood old. red sand and shit. Like old, old. Oh. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I like that, uh, that dish popping into, in and out of existence. Cave paintings. At first, I thought the cave paintings in the Foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now with this information, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these, or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted, or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present, and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Hmm. Fair question. Archaeological dig. These guys have a new method of attack. Are they throwing axes? Like axes now. Hey, look, new enemies. <laughs> Is sharpened. How many remote thoughts do I have? Eight.
This sharpened agents display the parry utilitarian ability to rapidly move short distance. This ability is unique in the fact it's not associated with any known object of power. However, we should not discount the possibility of this ability as an object variation. For example, abrupt physical relocation APR could be potentially a variant of the jukebox's effect. Other explanations of the His Sharpen's abilities currently include momentary time manipulation, brief increase in physical speed, or inhibit inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. If we do accept that the His Sharpen's ability is not connected to a known object of power, then the His are either manifesting unique paranatural abilities, or there are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the His are continuing to develop new strains of corruption, and that is cause for concern. Recycled Helen Wake axe throwers. You know, that's fair. That is extremely possible. Hey, Griff. How's it going? Yeah, it's, it's fucking good shit, man. Uh, how, how caught up are you? Like, approximately, what part are you on? The most bizarre shift so far. Part 14. I'm trying to remember. Hold on, I gotta see how many parts I had in the collection so far. Okay, I got 18. So yeah, you're, you, got, you got a little ways to go yet. Uh, okay, I was in the mold. Yeah. Yeah, the mold was an interesting time. Boss down there was. Hmm. It was boss. <laughs> That's another walk. It looks like that walkway wraps around from somewhere farther in, though. In the most bizarre shift, though, what's uh going on with the shift? Hades. I've heard great things about Hades. I'm. I might end up picking it up for myself at some point. Dangerous Toxic Geysers. Those geysers are disturbingly flesh like. And your systems problems, meaning you're watching broken systems. Oh, that's always just the best. Yeah, I don't like the way those things move when they're, like, building pressure. Like, I don't have, uh... The fuck is that called? Tryptophobia? I don't have that, but man... If I did... I could see that being an issue. Hopper subreddit would love this room. <laughs> Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo feller, fellow we bought it, brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Yeah. I can see why they would. box is buried more crystals blocking my way extremely rude the astral plane is cutting into our dimension what if this happens in the upper floors it'll destroy the bureau yeah I could see that becoming a problem
Consider death. Thank you. Where? Below me somewhere? I was taking fire from somewhere. Get up there. Hmm. I wish I could have you with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Ah. Uh, uh I know I'm hearing gunfire. I think it's from up there and I just can't get a line on him. Or one of those plat I don't I don't know. Astral copy. The astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects to power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to no note that they appear immune to his corruption. That's good to know. I guess. Marshall? Marshall! You're alive! Uh, Jesse. Wait! It's Jesse! You know the director! You know better than this. Don't be dumb. Whoa. This place is huge. Marshall? Can you hear me? She was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? There you go. Let's see what's going on with that pillar first. The nail. That's not an ominous name. Evade ammo refund. Well, these are two separate rooms. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to the shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. North Mori <laughs> a pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a story. Book. I saw a bird. We find it was pretty. Kick its ass. The perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me as about some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors shams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Mm. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? Yeah, it was saying it's sorry. If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules.
Ley lines. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here, at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere, Occam's razor and all that, but that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet, attracting them? Polar north? Or is the pillar a product of their focused energies? A sprout, nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power? Perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight. However, we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it. Given time, it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy. On that note, Northmore is bringing in the much lauded Dr. Gustav Wagner from headquarters in DC to aid my research. I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Oh. I see. That's, that's a painting of a giant spider thing. <laughs> hmm. So that makes me think thoughts. about the aforementioned ley lines. <laughs> I hadn't seen the one with the Santa hat yet. Foundation pillar. The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Freud would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Trottier wrote that great architecture isn't built, it grows. But then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of the place's concrete walls and rocky caverns? It's easier to see it as an anomaly, a buried artifact, a foreign body, a demonic phallus. I wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are. A demonic phallus, you say? Hmm. Well... Go rub the big demon dick then. Okay. I can't do this on Twitch. Single new tool upgrade. So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. Okay. Foundation literally means foundation. Assume it's a friendly tribute to SCP. I mean, this whole bureau is a friendly tribute to SCP. Okay, so I can either physically alter the crystal or I can destroy it with the weapon. I'm going to take the left. Mm 
Yeah, I'm gonna take the left. Undo, it's like control Z, yeah. Totally feel honored. There might have been something secret over there. There was not. Am the big sad. The four MacGuffins. <laughs> The the board is so good. Oh, that. I like that. That is fucking awesome. There you go, Spectre. Just you did you did that loot. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. this method of introducing the mechanics to you too like an in-universe explanation for a tutorial section it works okay let's review this broken pillar is I'm a tenno my god it was broken by Mm -hmm. something and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation which yes. will destroy the oldest house the bureau and everyone inside mm -hmm. i need to find four locks or keys or whatever to stop that from happening but i'm the director i've handled worse this should be simple ish you with me Lotus's cleavage window. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I know nothing about Warframe. I never actually played it. Talk about it and exclude the sweet dreamer. <laughs> I'll nod and smile like I understand what's being said. I've heard it's good.
I was just when it got really popular, I was still playing Destiny. Oh wait, those are fighting. Okay. You're about to attack me, aren't you? Yep. Why can't we be friends? Yeah, I knew there was a lot of grind. That was one of the main things I had heard about it. Okay, the stars. <laughs> They're not as good at dodging thrown objects as the Hiss Elevated are. Ugh. Okay. I player defend this point get leveled up to an insane degree yeah I could see that being a problem suddenly you've got 50 abilities and you're like what the fuck did any of these do listen you little shit Yeah, I had heard that the story was pretty decent. Okay, those are explosive. Good to know. Okay, that just feels badass. I hadn't tried that yet. <laughs> but now that I've started putting some ability points into melee, I'm like, why not use it? Why not try it out once in a while? 835 hours. Jesus. Is it from the upper floors? 
Nerd. Complete the ritual in the collapsed department. I mean, rituals are fun. I'm all for doing some rituals. There's something behind that his barrier. All right. I need to change something. Change charge to grip for now. Need to put a third mod in here. Just do energy headshot gain. So I gotta go out of the fire break this way. Data entry and filing, you say? Shift account, part one. Whoever finds this, I'm containment processes director Gene Gibbs, and I'm writing this to document the largest building shift to ever occur. Here are the facts. A considerably large section of the containment sector, including the processes and protocols offices, our research facilities, and a fair chunk of the fire break has been yanked down to a chasm that reaches far below lobby level, I think. It was a violent shift, and I regret to report several casualties. Injuries were sustained by all, but many of us, myself included, are still mobile. We've set up a base camp and started triaging. There are little supplies. We explored our surroundings and found caverns of all things. Maybe we're in some kind of cave threshold, like the quarry? Wherever we are, we're not the first. There were some rusty power cores, old lights, signs, infrastructure. What was this area used for? Why'd they seal it off? Why have we never heard of it? More importantly, how are we going to get out? Again, how does one repair this building? I don't know. Maybe the board will help. The board still seems somewhat benevolent, I guess. I mean, they're who knows what the fuck they are. Rituals. Matrix, the previous burrow built on the previous, built on the previous. Yeah, it could be. Could have a yurt of the situation going on. Give summary. series of reverberating sounds observed in downtown Kiev with no clear point of origin. The event was witnessed by the city's general public. Mental and physical symptoms were reported, including aphasia, sleep paralysis, and excess redacted and reported individuals. 
Due to the brief nature of this event, overseas bureau agents were not able to respond while it was active. Immediately upon arrival, agents collected audio recordings taken by local witnesses. All bureau monitoring stations located at global junctions of acoustic amplifi amplification were directed to monitor any auditory events of similar pitch, wavelength, and duration in an effort to trace echoes or epicenter epicenters. In the following weeks, similar cases were reported from both various amateur sources and bureau stations in major cities across the globe. The subsequent events diminished in volume and frequency per each occurrence. Event is believed to be generated by planar friction, though this is not confirmed. I do have to look up, because I can't, off the top of my head, remember what... aphasia is loss of ability to understand or express speech okay mm -hmm. right. personal mods are full again aphasia I've done that to people in Plague Inc yeah I played a a little bit of Plague Inc. Energy gained from taking melee to fuck off. I definitely don't need three health boosts that are lower tier than the one I'm already running. And we're recovery on evade, it's only 8%. Health recovery on melee hits. Mm, no. Nah. Energy gain per element pickup. I never really have a problem with energy. I'll become plaguing stream primary streamers. Right. We've actually almost finished their alternative place trial where you try to cure. Yeah. Yeah, I could see them doing that, being like, you know, this is a little on the nose. Let's, uh... Let's change things up a little bit. <laughs> Done work with the CDC and... Oh, I actually did not know that. That's pretty fucking cool. Animal recovery on taking explosive damage? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. We've got friends! Hit that dude in the face with a filing cabinet.
Let's stay here for a minute. Oh good, snipers. There were two of them. Let my gun heal my wounds, yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like that health recovery to a certain point only happens out of combat. I didn't realize that. <laughs> 